My name is Zina Zoka, commonly known as Zizo. I am from Sukuta, the Gambia. My artistic journey started when I was like seven years. Uh, by then I started off with sketching and all that. And then um, after high school, I decided to put more focus on it. That was in 2015. And then from then I started learning and interacting with other artists, uh, people like um, Lamin Fati and Joe Ture, and then also being inspired by artists outside of Gambia as well. So that um, developed uh, my art skill and today yeah, I'm still learning and practicing what I've been able to accumulate over the years. Being born with a talent without um, putting in the work, it, it doesn't pay off, but you have to put in the work so the talent can develop. So yeah, I was born with an artistic talent and then I developed um, through learning from other people as well. I've, I was inspired by a lot of people. I was inspired by people like Njogu Ture. His artworks inspired me a lot, especially with the display of his colors and everything. And then also some Nigerian artists, Ayola Ayodeji. His works are inspiring. These two artists really, really um, play a very important role in my work as well. Personally for me, um, one of the things that um, shape my work is the people around me. But first it starts with um, my, my mother. Uh, my mother was one of the greatest inspiration um, for my artworks because if you take a look at most of my art express the beauty of women their hard work and also but culturally and you know in many ways as well because i love to depict women i love to depict their hard work their leadership skills and many other things so all that came from uh, my mom as well because she was one of the first sponsor of my artworks and she was one of the first person to always like um help me um, achieve my goal as an artist. I've also been inspired by um, activities around me, um, you know, like the African culture as well. You know, with um, how most Africans never went to school, but they were able to create things like the Kora and learn how to play it, you understand. So all those things play a very important role in my work. And also nature, as you can see, like uh, currently I'm painting like a bird painting. So many attempts, things from nature really inspire me. Colors are very, very much important in art, um, from the mixture to um, composition and everything like that. So when it comes to mixing of colors, I try to be very um, selective in the type of color I love to use. Um, but it depends on the type of art I'm doing. Sometimes the subject that I'm drawing help me to understand the type of background I want the work to relate to. Currently, we live in a world whereby, oh, let's say mostly for the female gender, um, there are a lot of sometimes discrimination and all that. It could be from their facial appearance, from their body, you know, and all that. So sometimes my work tend to send out a message um, about women also to like despite their body size or whatsoever let them believe in themselves love themselves so there's a piece of artwork in the gallery in the studio here you can see it talks about um, let's say boldness and you, you like you're beautiful like you own it and stuff like that so I try to send out all those messages for women to feel confident about themselves. Let them forget about all those people trying to body shame them online. Like this is your body, you own it. You know, preserve it, do whatever you want to do with it and be beautiful. And also in a form of activism, I also try to portray works that speak about like um, gender-based violence. As an artist, you know, there are certain things that are not right. It's my responsibility also to depict that as well. I am also an ambassador of the African culture. So as an African, I have to depict him that send out the beauty of Africa as well to the rest of the world. You know, talking about the cultural instrument. I've worked with um, several individuals here in the Gambia and in a group exhibition. Um, I think one was held at a key art gallery. It was um, a collaboration between the key art gallery and Zizo Studio, but then we tried to bring other artists together um, to work on it. It is uh, an exhibition on gender-based violence, and it was such an amazing one, working with a lot of young um, Gambian artists, both male and female. And then also, um, I've also um, worked um, with Njogu Ture, um, as in not like we host an exhibition together, but learning from him um, through a, a project called um, the Cotton Trail and with other young artists as well. So it was quite impressive. And yes, I've, I've worked and I'm also hoping to work with other um, um, artists in the future 
um, to in order to promote the Gambian art as well. It would be such an honor to have like an exhibition together with my mentor Unjogu Ture. Uh, he's, a, he's one of the biggest artists I know of. And then also like I'm challenging myself to other part of the world, you know, place like Nigeria, Senegal. I've seen their works and I'm quite impressed with their artists there. So I would also love to have collaboration with those artists internationally. My first art exhibition was in 2021. 2021 at Yosh restaurant yeah it was uh, on the theme culture so um, yeah I would have loved to call it um, the local name chosen but I just chose to live it in the English way culture so culture was actually trying to bring people mind back to the things that um, we've done as um, as Africans um, things we do like the Kora, the dresses, the, the you know, um, the the jallies, you know, like the Kora players, you know, for people to see those things and appreciate them. The Gambia is actually not an art hub, but it's developing. And as an artist, um, it is not the job of people to come to me um, to embrace my work, but it is my job to to take it out to them out there to see the beauty of this we call art okay and that is why i come up with a lot of art events you have something like the sip and paint and beach art session so with this i've realized a lot of people actually have a hidden talent in art um, that if not the, given the platform they won't be able to express it or they feel like they're not capable of doing something in art and you realize that art is for everybody you just need the platform to do to express yourself okay so during the sip and paint a lot of gambians come out and the paint they enjoy it the feel like they can do it and that is what I want to see I want people to recognize this so that someday when um, they happen to sit in um, let's say in 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 big offices or um, in a ministry or something like that they will be one of the patronage of those artworks in the Gambia here so one of my biggest challenges in becoming an artist uh, to take it up as a full-time career let's say for in the Gambia here we don't have a school of art so if you focus on that too much you're not going to say because like you don't have a school of art so you say you don't have a place to learn art so you're going to give up on art you need to like put yourself out there to those who already learn certain things make yourself available to learning from them okay and also make um, best use of the internet that is one you don't have the tools so personally for me what i did because there's no school of art in the gambia here the closest to art i could study was architecture so but that still didn't like give me the fulfillment i wanted because art was always something i yearned for so i used um like the what i learned from architecture to draw a few house plans get money invest into the art get money buy a lot of things that i want to do for the art and then you know keep promoting my art as well so that is how i tend to do so sometimes you may not have it at once but you can get involved into other activities just so that you can um enable yourself to get to where you want to get to to promote your passion yeah so that is what i did so that's why the fact that in gambia we don't have a lot of resources but um through my collaboration with people and linking like networking and stuff like someone coming from abroad you could tell them hey i i really love this but um hence you're coming from this country can i give you this amount of money when you're coming you get me this and get me that so those things that is how you get to um develop yourself for the creatives in the Gambia, uh, although like um, when it comes to art, there are, lot, there are not a lot of opportunities, but you can find a way of creating those opportunities in yourself, which is one, and also by collaborating or networking with people. Um, I've been to a lot of events. It could be a youth event, but many attempts you see a lot of young entrepreneurs there from different fields, except an artist. You wouldn't see like artists there because many artists feel like they're not worthy of being part of those things and the, through that that is how i get to network with people and people get to know like uh, zizo like zizo art zizo art zizo art and this is how it keeps spreading so a lot of people will like um keep thinking like you know like zizo is uh, one of the best artists in the gambia but no like there are a lot of best artists that i know that if you see them you will even forget about it. but the problem is like i put myself out there you know for people to recognize what i do why those other people like they tend to shy away from either the media or tend to shy away from networking with people which is i think that is one thing as an artist you shouldn't do always um let people know what you do you 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 need people so they have to go they need to find you and when they see that what you are doing is good then they will start to find you so that is how it works that is what i believe and that is what i keep doing
there are a lot of things I hope to achieve, um, but you know, humans, we have limitations. It could be like um, in terms of finances, it could be terms in terms of like other resources or networks and stuff like that. So personally for me, I would love to have a platform where I can train a lot of people on art. Okay, so I started it last year and it was successful and a lot of, um, I, I got some few people who attended the art classes and now I'm doing like the sip and paint. Um, we have a lot of people are coming in to participate and it's something so exciting and now I wish to host an art festival so that everybody can come out and see like the beauty of Gambian art from different diversity in the terms of visual art in terms of like sculpture and many other things you know like Gambia has a lot of talent but we just need to bring um, people in the right place and invite people to come and see that we need to expose it I would also love to um, work with um, hotels in hosting like um, to, like sip and paint that they can also feel a little bit of art as well and also like turning um, the studio into a platform where people can come like random people want to at least have a, a little painting activities they could come in walk in you know have one or two brushes and paint and a canvas and paint whatever they want to paint and go home with it that would be very beautiful for them and it could serve as a memory for them as well and also to have like kids art session where parents who feel like their kids have um, this creative ability in them but they can't help them you know with that level of creativity they can send them over to us and we can work with them as well People can always check out my work on social media um, like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Um, we don't have a website now but um, it is a work in progress so in few months time they should be able to access that as well. We are currently working with Black Magic at Senegambia so we have most of our works that are exhibited there. Yeah, so in case like people may need them or inquiries about them, they can always get them there as well. For my final words or last words, I will wish for Gambians to embrace the creativity they have. Um, like don't be afraid to go out there to show to people what you have. And also for Gambians, um, like I know it's it's tough, like people haven't recognized this, but let them be patronage of the artwork. So that is motivating to most of the artists as well. We don't just want to be selling all our artworks outside the country or having to wait for people to come outside the country to buy. We want to see it in the homes of Gambians because it's like we are painting for Gambians to be bought by Gambians, to own by Gambians, so they can be in the homes of Gambians. So when people come and then they see something in a Gambian home, like let them be proud to say okay this is about our culture is painted by a gambian artist and his this is that you know stuff we want that type of um, relationship to go on so we want it to be our own thing let us embrace it you know and be proud of it